Yeah. Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make miniature Dutch apple pies. It makes four four inch miniature pies. Or if you want to make a whole nine inch pie in a large pie pan, you can do that too. So I'm gonna leave that choice up to you. The filling for the Dutch apple pie is going to be four to five cups of sliced apples. You're gonna to wanna to use the Granny Smith apples. And I find if you buy the medium size, you're going to get about five cups of sliced apples. One half cup of sugar, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, and one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. The salt's optional, but I find if I add a little salt to this Dutch apple pie, it really brings out the apple flavor. So I love using a little salt in all my apple pies. For the topping, you're gonna to need three-fourths of a cup of self-rising flour. And if you have all-purpose flour at home and you don't know how to make self-rising flour, check out my YouTube video on how to make self-rising flour. I've added the link below in the description box of this video. You're also gonna need one half cup of sugar and one third cup of cubed butter. It can either be salted or unsalted. You definitely wanna keep your butter chilled while you're making the filling for your Dutch apple pie. So let's get started. First, we're going to make our pie dough. If you wanna use the store-bought, that's fine. But believe me, homemade is better on your pocketbook and it tastes so much better. And if you wanna learn how to make pie crust, check out my YouTube video on how to make the perfect pie crust. I've added the link below in the description box of this food video. Now, I'm making my homemade crust. I have these four inch little ramekin pie pans. Now, if you wanna use 10, you can do that too. And we're gonna snugly just push it down in here. You're gonna roll out your pie dough to about seven inches in diameter. I go around the edges flip in the bottom here of the the pie dough and make sure you've got it really snug down in the bottom because as your pie dough bakes with your filling it's going to pull it down towards the middle of your pie crust but here I've already got one made and I've gone around the edges and I've fluted and I'll show you how I did that I just take one finger I pull out and take the other one in see I pull in and then pull this out Okay, and then out, in, out, in, out, in, until you have this beautiful flute edge around our pie crust. And they bake just beautifully. Four miniature pie crusts ready for their Dutch apple filling. Now, for the filling, we're going to peel and slice our apples. I like to use a paring knife, and I cut a little circle here in the top. Then I start cutting very thinly between the apple peel and the apple itself. Now I like to do this until I get all the way to the end of the apple without breaking the apple peel and I already did. Okay, if you have a little spot like that you can just cut it out. That's where sometimes it gets bruised during shipping or handling from the supermarket to your kitchen. Perfect, and then we're gonna cut it in half. And then we're gonna cut it in half again. Now for the center, I just like to pop out the seed. It usually comes out very nicely. And I cut it in really super thin slices like this, as you can see. And if you're a little bit more comfortable cutting it on the cutting board, you may do that too. And you're gonna do this with all your apples. And that's about as thin as you want. They bake very nicely, being that thickness. Each apple gave me about one cup of sliced apples, a little over one cup. We're gonna add that sugar, the cinnamon, and the salt, and give this a lovely little tossing until those apple slices are all incorporated with your cinnamon and your sugar and salt. That looks perfect. I'm using my hands and I'm going to stuff the apples right down in here. Uh, it takes about a cup, a little over a cup of apples to fill each four inch pie shell here. 
because remember we have the top that we're putting on which is this beautiful streusel topping absolutely delicious one of my favorite pies of all time and the apples are so fresh and granny smith just gives it this beautiful tartness those are just beautiful love them for the topping we're going to add our sugar into the bowl with that self-rising flour if you want you can whisk this around so you can get that sugar and flour really well incorporated till it's light and airy and that looks absolutely perfect i've just taken my butter out of the refrigerator it's very nice and chilled that's what you want now you can use two knives to cut the butter into the self-rising flour and the sugar but i cook and bake all the time so i have a pastry tool that i like to use to cut the butter into the flour and sugar and you may want to scrape it off a couple of times right at the beginning but you're looking for a really fine like cornmeal texture okay see so this is going to take a couple of minutes to really work that butter in with the the flour and the sugar now that your mixture starts looking like this you have little pieces of butter that'll melt as the pie begins to bake and you definitely want your oven preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit at this point because these first bake for 10 minutes in a very hot oven. And after 10 minutes on 450 degrees, you're going to turn down the temperature to 350 degrees. All right, using your hands, we're going to go ahead and add this streusel topping to the apples. Evenly distribute it. Okay, and we can go back and add just a little bit more. Bring it over to the edges if you can. Okay, so if you're using your hands, it's about two handfuls. We'll just put a little bit more there, a little bit there. And now this is off to that preheated 450 degree oven for the first. 10 minutes after 10 minutes turn your oven down to 350 and let it bake for 40 more minutes here we go bake your pies on the middle rack shut your door and no peeking miniature dutch apple pies baked okay and we're going to remove them off the baking tray i've got just a wire rack here i'm going to move them to and you want to be very careful because you don't want to mess up the edges and you're just going to scoot them over if you could be here in my kitchen it smells like cinnamon it smells like streusel it smells like dutch apple pie everybody absolutely fabulous let your dutch apple pies cool here on a cooling rack for the next two hours then i'll cut into it show you what it looks like and give it a taste for you they turned out beautifully I've let my pies cool. If you want, you can just eat the apple pie right out of its little porcelain pie pan. But I'm going to cut it in half so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Now it's still warm. And as you can see, it, it comes, it's, it's very loose. Like it'll move around in there. All right, and then I think I'm going to cut it into quarters. Well, let's see what it's like on the inside uh-huh see still just a little warm oh my gosh i'm gonna put it over here on a plate and looky here on the inside see it set up very nicely there's a big chunk of apple oh yeah oh yummy mm. and it smells so delicious okay i'm gonna put it right over here on a plate well actually i'm just gonna take a bite of it right now Mmm, mmm, mmm. Listen, mmm. This homemade pie crust, y'all, is delicious with this Dutch apple pie. Mmm. You got these soft, tender apples. You get a hint of the cinnamon. They're lovely. They're sweet. Mmm. And you get this streusel topping. 
just absolutely delicious. And that streusel topping, nice and buttery. Those apples have a little tart with sweetness. And that crust, y'all, it just makes it win-win. I hope y'all give these a try. It's absolutely delicious. Leave me a comment. Give me thumbs up. Follow me here on YouTube and Instagram. Thanks a million for watching you all. And I'll catch you next time.